you should stop spinning your shot of espresso. Most of the baristas, me inclusive, have been swirling or spinning our shots of espresso, but it really has a disadvantage whereby I am going to show you this. So let's first look at the extraction or the flow of the espresso before we get to the, to the reason of this video. So right now I am going to extract a shot of espresso and literally I want us to look at the what? At the flow of this espresso. It's going to start with a range of uh, low rate flow, like you've seen. It starts with low rate flow, and as it continues or as it finishes, it is going to increase in the flow rate or the ratio through which it flows. So like you see, it started at a low pace, and uh, as it continues, we are going to see that it is going to increasingly flow or increasingly do what? Uh, power very fast. It started with a slow pace and it increases with and it ends with a very fast pace. So, like you see, this shot of espresso has layered itself. The first flow showed us that it was really a conch liquor. Like you see, this is very, very conch. It has a light base and it has a creamer on top. So, why am I telling you to stop spinning your espresso? Let's have a look at this. Once you spin your espresso like this, the creamer won't be able to go down into the shot of espresso or to mix easily mix with the what with a lower liquor remember the lower liquor uh, remember the lower liquor uh, sorry about that remember the lower liquor has the strongest liquor or the strongest uh, elements of the espresso and the middle part it has the a uh, very light or medium light uh, taste of the liquor and the cream on top so every time we shake we are not reaching down the uh, we're not reaching down the what the bottom base of the right liquor of the espresso so when we mix first the disadvantage or when we spin it like this first the disadvantage that we are going to experience is that we are going to allow oxidization within our shot of espresso whereby once you spin it like this you are cooling it off which is not acceptable or which is which might not be good for the what for the shot of espresso that you've been doing what that you've been extracting but what is the solution that i am going to show you before you start spinning or before you continue uh, spinning your shot of espresso so like you've seen i've told you the disadvantage that it is allowing oxidization and once it allows oxidization on it the test is really going to be but that's why you hear most of the baristas or the most most of the coffee testers are saying that uh, uh, the espresso tastes bitter or the espresso is very sour or the espresso is very bad that is the uh, that is the reason as to why that happens because we spin and every time we get to spin we are allowing oxidization into our what into our shot of espresso however much while extracting it we are trying to fight the carbon dioxide between or within the espresso so once we fight the, uh, the carbon dioxide through the extraction process then again you add on the spinning you are going to find that uh, the test is really not going to be perfect so every time you test this espresso immediately you extract it or you spin it you're going to find that once you take the first sip it's going to be light the second sip it's going to be uh, of another test let me say medium and the last sip is going to be very very strong so what is the solution uh, towards all this so basically the solution towards all this is simply very simple Every time you finish extracting your espresso, don't just spin it or don't just uh, get hold of it and spin it because uh, most of the baristas still serve it uh, after extracting their shot of espresso. Sorry about the connection because uh, most of the baristas uh, get to spin it and they get to serve it to their what? To their client. So the best way to serve your espresso to a client even before you spin it after extraction is to simply get your spoon right here and give it the perfect what the perfect steaming uh the perfect stirring instead of uh spinning it just mix it so that all layers can be easily uh sorry all layers can easily blend together and once you test this espresso it's going to give you something perfect whereby you're going to get the same body test the same flavor test and the same or sweetness or acidity or anything that you're going to acquire out of the shot of espresso so basically this video is all about stop spinning or stop swelling your espresso like most of the baristas are doing 
like I have been doing. So once you stop that and start stirring it with your spoon or when you're serving your shot of espresso, at least give your customer a spoon so that we can easily do it. We can easily stir into espresso to get everything balanced. So basically, uh, that was the purpose of this video. Just out there, just in case you have been spinning or just in case you've been swelling your shot of espresso, it's high time you stopped and start using this simple spoon so that you can have a perfect test or a perfect blended mixture of tests, flavors and everything that you are looking for. So that is the purpose of this video. Just in case you have a question, leave it in the comment section below or on my Instagram or Facebook page. And that is it for today's video. See you and I sign out.